Hi, I'm Jake from Blackmagic Design, and today we're going to talk about LUTs, also known as lookup tables, and how to upload a custom LUT into your camera. A LUT works by telling your camera what color and luminance output to show for a particular color and luminance input. Now today we have the Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro with us, which has four LUTs preloaded into the unit. But now I'm going to show you how to upload a custom LUT from DaVinci Resolve straight into the camera. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've already got a project open and I've got some Blackmagic RAW footage imported. Now I've applied a grade to this footage, which I'll show you now. And what we're going to do is use that grade to create a LUT. So if I right click on the clip here and go to Generate LUT, you'll see we have four options. Now the Blackmagic Design cameras will only accept the 17 point cube and the 33 point cube. So I'm going to select the 33 point cube. I'm going to name it Custom LUT and save that to my SD card. Now if I minimize Resolve, I'm just going to eject the card and we're ready to put that inside the camera. I'm just going to pop the SD card in here, close the slot, and now we're ready to go into our LUT menu. So if we open the menus again, and you see here on the LUT page we have a Manage button at the bottom. So I'm just going to select that, and then we have some options here. Uh, we can import a LUT, or we can export a LUT. We're using an SD card today, so I'm going to import from the SD card. And here you can see our custom LUT on the SD card, and we're just going to click Import. It takes you straight back to the LUT menu, where you can see our original LUTs and our custom LUT at the top here. So once I've chosen the LUT I want to use, I can click the tick to select the LUT. So our LUT is now loaded into the camera, and if I apply this to the LCD or the HDMI output, it will use our custom LUT. So if I go over to the monitor setting, here is where I can apply our custom LUT. So if you see here in the settings, we have Display 3D LUT, and I can turn that on. Now if I come back to the camera image, you can see there that we've got some contrast and some saturation applied. Now I've also tied our LUT display button to F2 of the custom function buttons. So if I press this, you can see without the LUT and with the LUT. Because we created our LUT using Blackmagic RAW footage recorded at film dynamic range, we also need to set film dynamic range in the camera. If your image appears perhaps too saturated or there's too much contrast, you may have the wrong dynamic range setting selected. To change the dynamic range setting of your camera, select the record menu, go to the second page, and you can select video, extended video, or film. When using Blackmagic RAW footage, you can also apply the LUT in file. This makes it really easy for your colorist to see what LUT you were using on set, and they can easily enable and disable this from the color page in DaVinci Resolve. So I'll show you how to do this now on the camera. If we go to the third page of the record menu, you can see here that we have apply LUT in file. If I select this, the LUT will be exported with the clip and come straight into DaVinci Resolve for you to use. When recording in ProRes, you have the option to record LUT to clip. This isn't quite the same as apply LUT in file, as the LUT would actually be burnt into the image. I'll just show you how to set this now. If I jump over to the codec menu, select ProRes, and then we come back to page 3, you'll now see it says record LUT to clip. Just be aware, when this is on, the LUT will be burnt into the image. If you need any further information, please visit us at blackmagicdesign.com.